Hey, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. I'm going to go over a subject. I just went over this subject the other day, but I, I don't think that I was uh, really clear uh, clear about it. It's basically about dying in Thailand. Now, I already went over what you do uh, as far as the embassy goes. and uh, But for those people who do not have anybody to care for them, I think the main gist of the message that I received was, is it possible to find somebody to take care of you that you can trust? And that's a very difficult question to answer, but I would say yes, it is possible, but you're going to have to be very careful. And it, I think it depends really on how incapacitated you are. If, you're still, if you still have some of your facilities and you just need somebody around to help you out and you're capable of uh, firing somebody and saying, you know, get out of here, um, or going to the police or something like that, well then fine. But if you're bedridden, obviously your situation is going to be different and you're probably going to need more professional care. You're not going to need a helper, you're going to actually need a nurse. And that's where the money, uh, the money situation will make a difference. If you got the cash, and it may be a couple thousand dollars a month, two, three thousand bucks a month, to have a nurse uh, with you all the time, 20, uh, 24 hours, 24-7. It's going to cost you uh, quite a bit of money. Now, if you got the money, then obviously it's not a big deal. If you don't have the money, well, then you're going to have to figure something else out. Uh, as far as uh, the embassy did tell me, you can put money on deposit with them so that if you die and you want to be sh uh, shipped back to the U.S. and buried somewhere in the U.S., say you have a plot already picked out, uh, then... You put, it, you put some money on deposit with them, and then they will handle it. They will take care of everything and send you over. Now, uh, I don't know, a lot of people, I, I, from what I've seen, a lot of people say, well, once I'm dead, I don't care what happens to me. I personally care because I would hope that my wife and my kids would still want to uh, pay their respects to me and want to see me, so to speak. Uh, and uh, like I said about me going to the United States, I personally would like to go to the United States just because uh, I want to be buried on American soil. I know this may be difficult for people to understand, or it could be my ashes, whatever. Uh, sprinkle my ashes uh, on uh, American soil, whatever. I just want to be there. I don't want to be in Thailand. That's my, my whole thing. Uh, but he did ask me... Uh, Let's say you have a few thousand baht in the bank and you set up a trust with a Thai. I guess they may want you dead sooner than later so they can collect the cash. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's true. I'm sure that they're... Listen, it depends on the quality of person you're dealing with, and that's why this is such a difficult uh, question to, to answer. Uh, if an expat who moves to Thailand in his senior years with no options of returning to his home country, family, friends, do you think an expat can pay someone to make sure he'd get his medication, doctor's appointments, laundry, shopping, food? Definitely. You can. It's for sure you can. Uh, basically, you're just you're paying for somebody to be at your beck and call. And there are plenty of Thais who are willing to do this. The trick is to get the right person, a person that you can communicate with, uh, and most importantly, a person that you can trust. Uh, a person who, if you say, uh, go pull out 30,000 baht from my bank account, they're not going to take the 30,000 baht and run. Uh, or if you say, I need to transfer 300,000 baht, they're not going to transfer it into their own bank account. That's the trick, is finding somebody that you can trust. And I think that that's going to, uh, you're going to have to vet the people that you're interested in and, and, and really put them through the, uh, through the ringer and also you're going to have to uh, just put in the time to, to get to know uh, different people so that you can you know you put them through a, a one month uh, probation period a three month probation uh, probationary period or whatever it is definitely possible I mean the thing here is that if you got the money you can get anybody to do anything I mean I used to have when I had my I had an apartment in uh on Sukhumvit Soy 1. It was a big place. It was a penthouse. It was, um, it was right next to uh, Bumungrad Hospital. And it, I think it cost me about... It was The, the rent was about 30000 um, a month. It's something... At that time, it was about 
$30,000. It would have been about $750 a month. And I had a maid come in. So I had a maid come in a couple times a week. I had breakfast sent to me every morning. Uh, and then if I had any uh, times when I needed a special cleaning, I could call them up and they, they would come up and clean the place. If I had some people coming over or something like that, they would do that. And at the end of the month, uh, my bill with utilities and internet, and I had two phones, was uh, approximately 45,000 baht a month. So the place wasn't cheap, but uh, you know, like I'll tell you something, like my wife, she needs to ship things sometimes. We have a motorcycle driver that we trust. Uh, he's the same. I trust the guy. She trusts the guy. We, we've used him uh, for many different things. She'll give him a package. She'll say, "This is here's the address. This is where it's got to go. How much do you want? He says, I want this much. Boom. She gives him the money uh, to either deliver the package or to ship the package. Whatever it is, she gives the money. And boom, it's done. She doesn't have to worry about anything. So... You know, if, if you're well off, and I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, you got 50,000 or 100,000 a month. I'm talking about if you got a couple hundred thousand baht, a million baht a month coming in, if, if you're wealthy or if you're fairly well off, um, you can get a lot of the little things taken care of. It's no different than anywhere else. The, the, the main thing is getting somebody that you trust, and I think that uh, this is the, this is the, this is something that's, it's easier said than done, but there are people out here, uh, there are people here that you can definitely trust. It's not like uh, all Thai, I don't care what uh, some people say, because some people will say, oh, you can't trust the Thai girl, you can't trust Thais, whatever. That's bullshit, okay? I believe there are plenty of people here that are trustworthy and that are willing to help, uh, whether uh, just for the money or for the money and because they have compassion for other human beings. Uh, I don't know what the cost of nurses is, and I've got a doctor's appointment uh, in about the next week, and uh, when I go, I'll talk to them about what it would cost uh, for private, private care in someone's house. That's the other thing is if you're really bad off and you need medical care other than just somebody... Uh, remind you to take your medicine or uh, something like that, then the cost is going to go up. I mean, if you need oxygen, and uh, if you need a nurse to be checking your blood pressure every six hours or something like that, the cost is going to go up. That's just the way that it goes. So hopefully this video will uh, provide a little bit more information than the last one did. Um, there are a couple places, well, there's more than a few places. I, I've been looking into it a little bit. The, the main one that I saw f that caters to foreigners is a place called Care Resort Chiang Mai, and it's just careresortchiangmai.com. I found another website, uh, elderlycarethailand.com, and there are quite a few uh, elderly care facilities on, listed on that page, but uh, from what I saw, the vast majority of them are only in Thai, so I'm assuming that they cater to Thais. Uh, I don't think that the elderly care business is anywhere near what it is in the U.S. or, or say, in Europe. And, you know, the mentality here is still that uh, the children or family members will take care of the elderly in their family. Uh, but I do think that it's quite a bit more pronounced than people uh, believe. Uh, there, there are definitely, and I, I was surprised actually. There are, I mean, if you go to that elderly, what elderly care Thailand, there's probably 20 or 25 at least uh, companies advertising on that site. So there are a large number of places. Now, I would assume that if you're a foreigner and if you don't speak Thai really well, or even if you do, I would assume that most people would prefer to go to a place that caters to foreigners, but I could be wrong. Uh, so anyway, until next time, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok, Chokdi, Lat, Jerk, and Mai.